Hello, friends. I have a confession to make. I have a problem. I own too many vintage lenses. And if you're like me, you'd actually like to use these lenses to shoot, but if you use a lot of these goofy adapters that are pretty cheap, well, they all tend to have a problem. They tend to wobble around and they're loose and they don't make trying to use these lenses fun when you go to touch the lens and make a focus adjustment and the image moves around because there's all sorts of little play in these adapters. So there is a solution. In fact, there's a really excellent solution out there called SimMod. Now, if you haven't heard of SimMod, now you have. Ron Sim, a DP, got into creating a variety of different parts for lenses to adapt them and make them usable for video purposes. So in this particular case, we're talking about the OM adapter. And what this is, is I'm going to take my adapter off here. It doesn't replace the Olympus mount that's on here. What it is, is you remove the screws out of this mount, you leave it on, which is a great thing because you're not messing with the guts of the lens. And then you take the SIM mod adapter, which is not the thing in my hands. This is just a generic. It goes on and with a longer set of screws, you screw the whole thing together and your whole mount, your lens mount becomes rigid and you can put a follow focus on here even one with a motor, and you're not going to have things moving around. Even touching the aperture, again, everything stays put. Now, I did add this adapter. It's uh, 85 outer, 82 inner, because I've standardized on 82 rounds for all my still lenses. Let's go take a look at what it takes to put this adapter on, because it is surprisingly quick and simple, and if this is your first lens mod, this is an excellent one to get started with. So let's start the process here. We're going to take off the adapter, goodbye to you, and we're going to take a look. Now, am I going to get lucky? I'm going to just put the screwdriver on here and see if these screws are loose enough to come out on their own. and. I am using a high quality screwdriver here, this is brand new, and nope, not going to happen. So it is soldering iron time, which I expected this, so I already had the soldering iron hot. And following the advice of installing this, I am going to set up a timer so I don't cheat this too much and give each of these screws, I don't know, about three minutes in actual practice of heating the screws up and that softened up whatever glue was on them or expanded them in their holes so that they released and then they just pretty much just spun out without a fight. Now once I get done with this I'm going to do something that you do not need to do which is take the lens mount off. You're not supposed to do this. Don't do it folks. Now Olympus lenses are not too difficult to work on. This is relatively straightforward. I'm just doing a little test fit here. The reason I took the lens mount off is I want to grind off the flange on the back of the Olympus mount and not get it into the lens itself. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I know I probably could have chucked this up in the lathe or something, but I just wanted to get this done, so I'm using a deburring bit in here. And once I got that done, uh, clean it up, make sure I don't have any dust in there. This will slip right back onto the back of the OM lens, and we will line up the SimMod mount adapter onto here, and we will screw this in with the longer screws that they supplied. This really probably took me about 20 minutes all said and done just with heating the screws and just do a quick check, make sure everything works, which of course it does because I didn't do anything too crazy. That's it. It was pretty easy. So like, subscribe, you know the deal, and we will see you next time.